In the last episode, we talked about how to light for chroma key. In this case, we're going to show you how to use your post-processing software to go from this to this. So stick around. All right, so let me show you how I normally do my keying. Now I'm gonna be using Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5. Obviously you may or may not have that uh, same software. I really just wanna teach the principles here. So don't worry too much if you don't have the same software, the kind of the general principles will apply pretty much any software you use. You'll just have to kind of dig around a little bit and find the similar settings. In this particular case, I have my footage brought in in front of the green screen. Um, I'm gonna be using three different effects. I'm gonna use a keying software called Ultra Key, which is built into Premiere. I'm going to use potentially here, depending on how clean our uh, the mat for the keying comes along, we may use a 16 point garbage mat, and then I'll also do a tiny bit of color correcting to get the kind of fine tune the final look. So let's start with the Ultra Key. First thing you do is you grab the dropper here to choose your key color, and I just wanna choose one of the brighter areas in the green. And let's see what we get here. If I choose that, that's not too bad. So we'll start there. Now, the one thing that's nice about this Ultra Key, yours probably has something similar, is you can actually go to the Alpha channel, and that shows you where you have some stuff that you need to clean up. So we do have a little bit of extra stuff to clean up here. You'll notice that the um, wrinkles in the green screen are creating some problems for us. Now, that's why it's so important that you use as flat a green screen as possible. In this case, I wanted to show you how um, how to do that cleanup here. So let's take a look. So I've, I've changed it to uh, alpha channel mode, and then I'm gonna come down in here into my matte generation, and I'm gonna tweak this pedestal setting. What this does is it allows you to choose the intensity of green at which this uh, the matting is cut off, or the, the keying is cut off, so that you can kind of grab all this extra stuff that wasn't grabbed already. So I'm gonna bump that up. Let's just take that to 50 and see how that does. That does pretty well. You can see it clean up most of the stuff here. And so we're pretty good there. I'm gonna come down into the matte cleanup section now. And I do have this contrast setting here. Let me just bump that up a little bit and let's see how that does for us. So if I bump that to 15, ooh, it's done a pretty good job. We have a little bit of uh, extra stuff left over here. Let's just bump that up to 20 and see what happens. Now, you wanna be kind of careful here. If you bump it up too high, your key is gonna to start to look kind of unnatural, like um, there's gonna to be too hard of a line right around your subject. And you don't want that look because it starts to look pretty fake. So um, let's not push it any more than 20. We've got a little bit we need to clean up here. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll use our garbage mat. Come down here to our 16 point garbage mat. Now, the way this works is that I wanna cut out any of this extra stuff that we don't need here. And since I don't move around a lot, I can create this mat here that just cuts out this little extra bit just by grabbing these control points here and just moving them like that. And that's cut out the extra stuff that I don't need. So now you can see if I come back and bring it back into composite mode, that's a pretty good clean key that we've got there. All the black stuff here now is a transparent area where when we drop the background in, we will be able to, to see the background. So I've got my main footage here. I move the, the video footage up to level two here so that I can slide my backdrop in behind me. And that's about what we're looking at so far. So that's not too bad. There are a couple things though that make it not totally convincing. So let's work on that a little bit. First of all, I've got this little color correction section as part of my ultra key. And I'm gonna just drop the luminance down a little bit on that. I'm gonna drop it down maybe to 90. And that looks like it fits in a little bit better. Now it looks like the lighting on me is a little closer to what's on the backdrop. So that's a good start. Now we're done there with the ultra key. We've already used our garbage mat. We're done there. Let's come into the color corrector and do a couple of fine tweaks here to get us to the final level. Now, one thing is that the light on me is a little tinge of green to it. I want to just kind of correct for that. And so on my color wheel here, what I do in the color corrector is if I want to get rid of one color, I drag this little circle in the opposite direction. So I've dragged it just slightly towards magenta away from the green. And that seems to have taken care of the, uh, the little green problem I was having there. Let's also uh, drop down the level, the black level just a little bit to add some contrast. And that's kind of a nice look there. It makes it fit in a little bit better. It gives that kind of not push it too far, but uh, gives a nice look to it. And then I might just bump the contrast, or sorry, the saturation up just a touch to 105. And tweak our 
magenta there just a little bit and I'm pretty happy with that look there so I think that's going to be pretty close to where we want to be now you want to run of course scrub through your your footage and make sure that everything's okay especially that that garbage mat didn't cut off any point points where you're moving around a little bit um, in this particular video I didn't move a lot so we were able to pull that off but that kind of underscores again the, the importance of making sure that your green screen isn't wrinkled because it's going to make it a lot harder for you to key it out so I hope that was helpful for you. If uh, you're interested in receiving more videos on video production, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit us with questions below. And thanks for checking out the show. We'll talk to you again soon.